Birds are often sleek, streamlined, aerodynamic shapes, but a lot of that smoothness comes from their feathers. Underneath the feathers, birds do not look the way you would expect them to. Let's check out some weird bird skeletons. This is a kakapo. The kakapo is the largest parrot in the world, cannot fly, and is mostly awake at night. Let's use our x-ray glasses to see its skeleton. In the skeleton, you can see the distinct parrot-shaped bill that's used for crushing food. The eye orbits are normally sized, even though this is a nocturnal species and you might expect larger eyes. Then that neck. The kakapo on the outside looks like a floofy ball of feathers, but its neck is long. It has reduced wings and almost no keel or sternum, as it is a flightless species. The legs of the living bird look tiny, but the skeleton reveals how long those legs are. Then the feet are zygodactyl. They have two toes forward and two toes back. Those are perching feet, like on other parrots. Next, let's look at burrowing owls. They're unusual owls that are awake during the day and live in burrows in the ground. So what can we see in their skeletons? Whoa! How long are those legs? They're longer than the rest of the bird! Most burrowing owls do not dig their own burrows, but you can imagine how they could dig by reaching forward with each foot on those long legs. Burrowing owls can also chase prey by running with those long legs. Then the claws and beak are sharp for killing prey. I'm also noticing a gigantic eye orbit, even though this is mostly a daytime species of owl. Relatively short neck, but well-developed wings and keel indicate that this bird can fly well. We should see a Galapagos penguin. These birds can't fly, but they spend a lot of time swimming with their wings. What's hiding under those feathers? The penguin skeleton looks mostly like the penguin. The bones are remarkably thick for a bird because they are flightless and don't need to worry about weight. Even so, they retain a large keel and thick wing bones to help them swim. The neck is surprisingly long compared to the living penguin. The tail is also long. But the one fact you can never forget is that penguins have knees. They have long legs and their knees are just a little bit above the tips of their flippers. This is a common question about penguins, so now you know the answer. Penguins have knees. I would love to use these x-ray glasses to see inside a crimson topaz hummingbird. These birds can hover with their fast wing beats, letting them reach into flowers to get delicious nectar. But what do they look like on the inside? I don't think that anyone would guess that this is what a hummingbird skeleton looks like. The beaks are long, of course, but the neck is this twisty strand of vertebrae that somehow fit into the aerodynamic shell of feathers. This picture makes the wings look small, but they are pretty big. The wing muscles connect to the keel, which is gigantic. By looking at the keel, we might guess that flight is very important to hummingbirds, because this is where all their flight muscles attach. In fact, hummingbirds generate lift on both the up and down motions of their wings. So their pectoral muscles must be large, like most other birds, but the supracoracoidal muscles that pull their wings up must also be large. Their extreme flight muscles lead to an extreme keel. These birds must have the weirdest skeleton in the world. What we can learn from this is that birds are more interesting than they appear at first glance. The outward appearance of birds is shaped by factors like insulation and aerodynamics. But the inward appearance of birds is about accomplishing whatever it is that the bird needs to do to survive. This is another example of how you can find new surprises if you look closely enough at life. Thanks for taking the time to learn about birds. You can keep discovering new things by subscribing. 
If you want to be part of the BioBush flock, you can support us on Patreon or as a channel member on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.